Hey guys, it is Penny with Frankie Street Dogs, formerly the Doggy Bag Grill. I'm going to show you how I make my Spanish sauce for my hot dogs. Um, Spanish sauce was made famous by uh, B&K Root Beer and Hot Dog Stand here in the uh, Midwest. Um, it's kind of like Sloppy Joe sauce. Uh, I start out with one pound of ground beef. Now the actual recipe to this B&K Spanish sauce is a well-guarded secret. I have worked at many a B&K throughout my years and you cannot get that recipe. It is very well guarded. So I've kind of taken bits and pieces from different B&Ks and from different people and I have worked with this recipe, tweaked it some, and tried to make it as close to theirs as possible. And I think I did a really good job with this recipe. So, one pound of ground beef. You're going to need one small onion. Uh, finely chopped, almost minced. Now, the original recipe calls for the dried onion, but I like fresh onion, so I'm using fresh onion. Uh, you want that onion flavor, but you don't really want to see the onion. So this will cook down into the hamburger and give it a lot of flavor. So we're going to add that right in. Now this is, um, I'm making this for my house. I'm going to have lasagna. And you can put this in lasagna, spaghetti sauce. Uh, you can do so much with this. But I'm going to make lasagna today. So I am at home. I am cooking this uh, on my stovetop. So I don't need to be wearing gloves. I don't need to be, you know, whatever. Because this is not going to the public. Okay. So... This is your number one tool right here. You have to have a potato masher. And as this cooks, you're gonna mash that all down. So you'll do it for a little bit. Let it continue to cook. Come back, mash it again. Let that onion get uh, incorporated in there and cook down some. And we will come back a little bit later and I will show you what spices and stuff that I put in mine. See you in a bit. Okay guys, and we are back. I'm smashing this again. You do not want big clumps. Okay, I'm going to add one tablespoon of Maxine chili powder. One level tablespoon of sugar. A half a teaspoon of salt and one cup of red gold ketchup I use red gold because it's here in Indiana I also use red gold because it has a low vinegar content. It's uh, not one of the main ingredients. It's in it, but it's not in the top line of the ingredients list. Now, I'm going to mix and smash. No, I did not drain the hamburger grease. And you will see why a little later.
Now, I'm going to let this simmer, I'd say for another 10, maybe 15 minutes on medium, and then we will come back a little bit later again. Okay, and we are back for the last step. Okay, I am going to mash this again. And the reason why I did not drain that grease yet was because I wanted to see how it reacted with the ketchup and all the other ingredients after it sat and it simmered for a bit. Sometimes I've gotten hamburger and it's been really, really greasy and I will have almost a half an inch of grease just sitting on top after I've added the ketchup. I will then strain it and drain that grease off because I want some of that flavor but I don't want all that grease. And this is perfect. This is saucy but not greasy. That is delicious. I have already had a taste. This goes on anything. Hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, chicken parmesan, spaghetti, lasagna, anything. Just add some melted cheese in here and you've got yourself a dip. So yeah, that's how you make the Spanish sauce. If you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know and I will do my best to answer them. So until then, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.